There is better news on the economy these days. Do you expect that to be a bigger part of the of the Dems message going into the fall? And if, if not, why? Well, I think you will see here the Democrats talk about the economy, but not to the extent that one would expect, given a lot of the good economic data that's been coming out. And I think the primary reason for that is because a lot of voters are not feeling it. They see the market going up, but their wages have remained the same. And so if they're not personally impacted by the good news, then it doesn't seem very real to them. And the Democrats are aware of this. I think what's on the side of the Democrats, though, is they're offering a prescription to address stagnant wages, at least part of the prescription. Is this the minimum wage it, argument? The minimum is wage that, argument. Is that going to play with voters? Is that going to get voters to turn out this fall in support of the Dems who still, I think, are facing uh, the potential losses, are they not? They are. The Democrats are going to lose seats in the Senate and the House. The question is how many. And the minimum wage as an argument is fine as part of a broader plan, notwithstanding the policy, which is, is not good policy. But when it is the entire platform of the Democratic Party, which it is today, it's not enough for voters to get their arms around it as a vision for the country. It's just one piece of what should be a broader, more robust economic plan. Uh, I, I do agree with Tara, though. I think one of the challenges Democrats face right now is they don't want to appear tone deaf. You have these right. good long-term trends in the economy, but short-term, you know, people experiencing, are experiencing higher gas prices, their wages aren't going up. Tara's correct about that. So it's a Nathan? real challenge for them. So look, I'm not red or blue. I'm green when it comes to this discussion. Okay? A true the, Ohio. The, the color of money. Be, be clear on this. But we just did a proprietary study at, uh, of a thousand people across the country, and healthcare has had is now having the highest approval it's ever had in terms of affordability, quality of care, that thing which I believe, that issue, which I believe Republicans thought, oh, we're going to just kill them on this one, are going to find that all of a sudden, this is, a, this is something... So do you think Democrats it, are going to run on the health care yeah. issue instead of the economy issue, Tara? Is, are, you, are you seeing evidence that that might be one plank for the fall, or is that deemed as too risky as well? Well, all politics is local, and that's something that we always have to keep in context and remember. So if you look at some of these states, Republican states where Democrats hold Senate seats, a lot of them, they're seeing a pushback because governors in those states, Republican governors, have denied people federal funds for Medicaid, denied working people federal funds for Medicaid. So in those states, you're seeing Democrats start, starting to be more emboldened. They're pushing back on the issue because, again, health care is part of, it's an economic issue for people. If you have to go to the emergency room and pay out of pocket, right. then right. that hurts. 